Hello there buddies, today we are going to check how I did this animation right here in Adobe After Effects. Bear with me because it is going to be as always a lot of fun and a very easy animation to do. By Hulk 79. So here we are in Adobe After Effects and the first thing that we need is a text layer as 99% of the times here in the kinetic type series and this time is set on Noye has grotesque 55 Roman and the second thing that we need is a background I'm going to do the background just by double clicking here in this rectangle tool to create a save layer that creates a save layer the same size as my composition here I'm going to rename it and this one goes to the bottom now I'm going after a new adjustment layer here okay and I'm going to rename it uh, here I'm going to start or we are going to start dropping some effects let's make the window effects and preset panel visible and remember that the search box is your friend so let's start by applying a fast box blur here and this one is going to be the main thing to create our animation if that makes sense so I'm going to increase this to let's say 80 later on we are going to play with this but yeah to start with 80 can work for us the second thing that we need here is a posterize effect under the stylize sub menu here so I drop that here too and this one is also an effect that we are going to to play with later on to see what what is the, the best uh, setting next thing that we need is a find edges so I throw that there and you start seeing how this works so this is very nice so let's start just playing with the other stacked effects so for example if I decrease the posterize to something like 3 you see that it is way simplified and if I increase the blur you see that we have a softer shape and you can't recognize anymore the A so that's part of the interest about this animation so yeah let's keep it at 50 for example now the next effect will be a extract effect it is under the gain category so I throw it there too and this one works with a, a, a white background so if I activate the transparency grid and start messing with a white point you see that I, I created this uh, transparency which is something that we need so after that we apply our very famous combination of fast box blur here with something like 4 for example and then some levels and this we made this a lot of times to have a thicker outline so to say so in the levels effect we need to go to the alpha channel and then let's make this bigger we deal with the controls so that we start having these thick nice lines so it works in combination with the fast box blur so if I increase this something not that extreme let's say a 6 and keep dealing with this you can see that these two effects combined are very handy to have some thicker lines so last thing would be a mosaic we throw it here and in this case we activate the sharp colors uh, option 
and I'm going to increase this to something like 200 per 200 and now I'm going to start creating my animation which I'm going to collapse all this because you see how many effects stacked we have here but you know the main animation is going to be located into the first fast box blur here and in the beginning it's going to be something very extreme like let's crank this up like 200 let's say I create a keyframe here and I'm going to go to seconds 125 frames and I'm going to put uh, this or set this to zero so now if I press the spacebar you can see that we created this nice animation where it seems like there is a morphing happening but if we start deactivating effects you can see that at the end the animation is only you know a letter that goes from fully blurred you cannot even see it to sharp so that's it then you stack some different effects together and we have this very nice animation okay we can deactivate the transparency grid and maybe you want to go to the composition settings and change the background like this or even you want to throw this composition into another one and then create a different background because as you remember this one here is just the lines so we can change the background color and also maybe we want to change the lines color the outlines color and we apply a fill here so yeah, that's pretty much it. The nice thing about this is obviously that this is a, an editable text layer. So we can change it to whatever we need. So please remember to subscribe. Also you have below here in the description a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page where you have like different After Effects projects. You can even contribute uh, so that we can Keep learning together in this amazing journey that is the Kinetic Type series. See you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79.